Bobby today. Something that has really, really shocked a lot of people. Puzzle of a Nairobi man shot 36 times in broad daylight. Female companion and heart. The killing on the spot of a 24-year-old man shot 36 times in broad daylight in Mehango area at Mehango area in Utawala on Friday afternoon has brought to the fore the increasing cases of blatant shooting of persons by unknown people in the country. The area chief reported to the police that the incident happened around 1 p.m. along Gesora Road where the disease now identified as Kevin Odiambo was found lying with multiple gunshot wounds. An eyewitness told officers from Kayole Police Station that he saw two motor vehicles stop and shoot at the deceased, who was accompanied by a woman before leaving at high speed. During the incident, the witness said he lay down with his hands raised up, hold his mobile phone in surrender, but the gunman went up to him and grabbed his phone and smashed it and left with the woman who was accompanying the deceased. The phone was later recovered next to the body of the deceased. Officers from Kayole Police Station responded to the scene and recovered 27 5.56 mm spent cartridges, two live bullets, 9 mm spent cartridges, five bullet heads, and a crushed wristwatch cover, which have been stored as exhibits at Kayole Police Station. The gunmen are reported to have on the same day also abducted the deceased brother, Alfredo Ziambo, who is yet to be traced after allegedly raiding his house in Maji Mazuri area in Mweki. They were captured on a CCTV dressed in bulletproof jacket, torturing and harassing Ziambo, with one asking him to produce a gun. The woman was later abandoned in further estate by the gunmen before she found her way back to Utawala. The victim's body was uh, taken to city mortuary as the investigations continue. More to follow. Go check out Nation of Africa to find out more on the same. You can imagine the horror that the lady standing next to the disease had to have gone through for her to just literally witness something as tragic as that. And I do hope that these trends can once and for all, if not end, reduce. We've had too many cases, too many cases of either extrajudicial killings or just gunmen, you know, getting away.